Alright, so since they're basically just robots, they're uh, more human looking robots than these. I, I don't know where we're supposed to. Am I supposed to be following him? Is he stuck? Oh my lord, please. Can I push him out of the way here? Oh, there we go. Dog meat, come on. Everything is just blocking dance. Doesn't matter. Like, you get him over one hurdle and then there's another. Like, I have no idea where to be going because it looks like I'm just supposed to be following him. Oh, let me see what my mission is. What is, what is my quest here? Follow Pallet. Well, I can't follow him if he just. Oh, there. I still see it. I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place. I'm getting trolled pretty hard by dog meat and pallet and dance. I go into the menu to look what I'm supposed to be doing, and then he finally starts moving again. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Reconnoiter? It's a neat word. Let's use this terminal here. Password security. Automated password change. This is your annual annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes, the suspension of network privileges, and or disciplinary action. Please do your part in keeping ArcJet system secure. Perfect. Automated password change. I got the password. According to our records, your terminal password has not been changed in three months. For security purposes, your password will now be reset. New password is NYB3N. Alright. I hope I don't have to remember that. I probably don't. God forbid I have to remember anything. Helen Dance is just looking confused at random terminals. Not sure if he knows how to use them. Yeah, I didn't even have to remember that password. Well, the door should be open. Oh, there they are. Hey. Fin I finally got some extra experience. Finally. Finally procced the extra experience perk that I got. And it was off of killing a dirty synth. Are you stuck again? Door's open. Enemy. Well, I didn't mean to blow stuff up, but you know, that's just kind of how it worked out. Hold up. Oh, I don't care. Oh, that guy's already dead. Oh, there's no one even left in here. Oh, what? Oh my God, who is? He? There's a lot more enemies in here than I thought. I thought it was only the one guy. Boy, was I wrong. Oh, I got level 11 as well. I leveled up. Oh, crap. There's more. Oh, I have my crit again. I need to try to remember that. I wonder if the rifle they dropped is better than the one I have. It very well could be. All right, goodbye, Bobby Pin. Sorry, right, we got 37 left. Well, we're gonna have 36 here in a second, but oh no, I actually got <laughs> actually managed it open without breaking another one. Not sure what what is up here. I'm not even sure where I need to go here. Let's talk to. Damn synths oh, what? compromised most of the facility. Apparently this is where we're supposed to go. Well, a pack of duct tape. Apparently we're supposed to go that way. I also need to oh, yeah, I did level up, didn't I? Well, let's see what we got to level up here. Can I upgrade this again? I actually can. Here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get this to 
I'm just gonna get this to rank two. And then that'll be the end of upgrading that. From here, I pretty much need to upgrade uh, the perks that let me mod weapons. As well as probably some strength. There's a safe up here. And another turn. Oh, an expert terminal. Too Won't stupid be able to, to get this. Oh, an expert. Expert safe. I can open this novice large toolbox. Great. Rip another bobby pin. Alright, so I probably need to upgrade my strength a little bit, maybe to carry some more, or just selectively loot stuff. I want to get the, mysteri the Mysterious Stranger at some point. I need to upgrade my computer hacking, and my, uh, I'm carrying too much now, and my lock picking. There's a lot of stuff I need to do. Let's give him all my junk. Should really see if any of the if any of the stuff I picked up was any better. There's that institute rifle. Pretty much everything goes up with the damage. Is this thing automatic? No. Oh man, look at this thing. This thing's crazy. This thing takes up like the whole right side of my screen. I'm not sure about this. Just use the regular old rifle. Need to check my armor too. Yeah, I didn't want that. Ooh. Lightweight metal chest piece. I'm gonna lose. Yep. I'm gonna lose the extra inventory cap I had. I need to modify my armor too. I'm pretty sure you can mod armor. I'm not sure if. I'm not sure what perk unlocks that though. Or how, what you need to do to be able to do it. We'll figure it out. In due time. Well, you can have that back. I have an automatic institute pistol. Feeling kind of eh on it. I have a million Molotovs. I thought I... Well, I guess I took them all back from him and never did anything with them. I guess I'll give him a bunch of Molotovs again. have to concentrate real hard to give him all that stuff. Toy alien and a toy rocket. I don't know what was going on here. More random junk. Ooh, ammo. Gamma rounds that I'll... A oh, stealth boy? I'm never going to use any of this crap. I guarantee I'll probably try to hold on to one stealth boy the whole game just in case I need it to try to stealth through something. I'll get to that point, I'll use the stealth boy, and I'll still fuck up. So it won't even matter. Me and stealth do not go hand in hand. CEO terminal. And there's like a magazine next to it too. Holy shit. After six months, the United Space Administration finally approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Mars Shot Project's propulsion and communication system. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put ArcJet on the map. There's so many of these too. Fortunate enough to be able to add Dr. Rory McClellan to the XMB booster team today. A few people who can match Dr. McClellan's aptitude, nuclear propulsion system. So this truly was a coup, or a coup. It uh, cost the company heck of a lot of money to hire him from away from his military contracting job, but I'm sure it will be well worth every dollar. We promised the USSA that the booster would be ready to, at least a year before their July 2078 launch date, with Dr. McClellan at the hem helm. We should be able to meet that deadline. Man, there it is. Just, just talk about a rocket. Well, mil I guess military stuff. I'm sure they were trying to make some weapons here or something. As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened at ArcJet Systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now with the XMB booster and the deep range transmitter projects in full swing, ArcJet appears to have received a second chance. Thanks to Dr. McClellan, we're on schedule and under budget. 
USSA is already thrilled with our progress and is already talking to me about future contracts after we delivered. I don't think it's possible to be ending this year on a better note. Well, we'll see. Dr. McClellan informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. USSA is demanding that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to a uranium refinement subsystem, we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McClellan assures me he'll find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me get to sleep at night. Yep, now it's all starting to go bad. USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Mars Shop Project. Arc Jet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. Last week, I fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know what we're delivering. They all want to know when we're delivering the XMB booster so they can take their pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. Hope McClellan solves our weight problem soon or we're never going to get a contract again. Man. Can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan said, oh, they finally solved it. Now all we need to do is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem so bleak and chaotic during the year, but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. Well, that's nice. It's a Christmas miracle. Or whatever holiday it was going to... When was that? 11, 20... I'm guessing uh, November, so... Kind of before Christmas. Schedule the photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB boosters. Test firing, blah, 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 blah. All right, they want to take pictures. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB... Man, there was an accident. Somehow a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the boosters, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration and burn the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'll have Brent take care of the remains after all. That's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down and I may as well put a for sale sign out in front. And then the last one, all of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Mars Shop Project telling me we may have to delay for a year or more depending on what happens if that's true we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract which we've already completed I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here but it's getting harder and harder with the government falling apart around us hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work oh. that was a lot of reading and it was it wasn't that interesting to be honest oh there's a safe over here I've certainly had some more interesting reads before. Nice. That was not one of them. <laughs> now Dogmeat's already getting shot. Negative visual on the target. Oh my god, there's another terminal over here. I have to hack it. Cork. Two. Could be cool. I'm in. It's cool. Got a repair order. After all that boring shit, I honestly don't want to read all this stuff out loud. <laughs> Just trying to skim it here. Put the turret controls down there, so that's good. It's pretty much what we need. So I can turn this stupid turret off. Hopefully it'll stop shooting dog me now. You're welcome, Dance. Are you in this room for a specific reason or no? No? Okay. Guess you're just hanging out in the break room. Can you go? Man, he is just... He is struggling to go anywhere. Like, what is he doing back in the room? Come on, Dance. Can we go? Man, this dude is the most finicky guy of all time. He, he will just not come. He's just sitting in this room. Dance. Enough chatter. We've got a job to do. Yeah, I know we've got a job to do. You're just sitting in a room over here doing nothing. Of course we have a job to do. You're not helping do it. I don't even know what we need to do. Because guess what? The game only tells me to follow you. Look, here we go. Provide fire, provide fire support for Paladin Dance. Well, there's nothing to provide support on. Here, I'll provide firing support. Here you go, Dance. You ready to come out now? 
Can you please come out and go? Here, let me give you a little push. Let me give you a little push in the right direction, buddy. Let me give you a push. I'm about to dis dismiss dog meat. What is he doing? Dance! What are you fucking doing? Is there something in this room that I have missed that you want me to do? Because it seems like there's not. It seems like you're just fucking bugged sitting in the room doing nothing. That's what it seems like to me. Oh my god, this is this is a train wreck. Look at this. Dog meat's just sitting here, blocking Dance. Dance won't leave the room. I can't push Dance out of the room. I can push him over there. He won't do anything. Are you fucking... Yes, leave the room. Leave the room. The room is bad. Dance, leave the fucking room. Go where you need to go. Why do you keep wanting to come in this room? Well, if you have something to do in the room, then fucking walk in here and do it. 